So we're in the month of September. Most of you guys are not aware that this is also Bisexual Awareness Month. This is also the month where contrived ignorance is at its highest, coming from both sides, gays and lesbians and heterosexuals. Let's talk about it. Man, are you a fucking 20 year old college student? Are you a female college student? Who the fuck is bisexual? Man, stop. Look, my personal opinion is you're either gay or you're straight. We all know the saying, you can't have your cake and fuck it too, right? Pick a side, grow the fuck up and pick a side. Either you're gay or you're straight. How the fuck are you gonna be bisexual? But Jericho, I'm bisexual, bullshit. Pick one. Ah, yes, the typical you can't have your cake and eat it too comment. Both sides says it, non-heterosexual and heterosexuals. A lot of them have their, a lot of them come to their conclusions because of the information that the limited information that's available. Um, they say it along with other things as well that comes with their sexual order. Interest of gays and lesbians, they'll say you can't have your cake and eat it too. Interest of heterosexuals, they'll say that you can't have your cake and eat it too. A lot of them will try to use the Bible, Christian Bible, you know, yada, yada, their, their doctrine where they condemn homosexuality, but they don't hold, they don't hold their, they don't hold their pastors, their deacons and their church staff to the same standards. But that's, that's definitely another story um, because a lot of that goes on, a lot of that goes on in a church heavily a lot of that heavily goes on in a church but again that's an that's another discussion so you can't have your cake and eat it too you know okay well my my rebut is you can't have your you can't you can you can have fruits in your salad your vegetable salad and eat it too it's it's a contrived ignorance it's a statement of contrived ignorance because yeah you can have your cake and yes you can eat it too but the premise they're saying it from is from a premise where when doing that there is no balance and a lot of that lately that i've i've seen from my experience online or you know through social media of these poly relationships a lot of it isn't done right, but, you know, it's contrived ignorance, period. But I just want to talk about, this is what I want to talk about. Um, contrived ignorance. That's the biggest thing that we need to be aware of in bisexual month or bisexual awareness. The biggest, the biggest crux that will help us in bisexual awareness is to combat, to rebut, to debunk, or expose contrived ignorance. And all contrived ignorance is, is ignoring, ignoring the truths that you do not want to address. So what do I mean by that in terms of bisexuality? Well, the biggest contrived ignorance is you're either gay or you are straight. So to explain bisexuality in scientific terms, we have a neurochemical called dopamine. This is actually how sexual orientation is defined as, it's classified. So just to give a gist, because I don't know if a lot of us heard it, but you know, dopamine response, you, you release these, uh, you release these hormones um, when it's something that is pleasurable, usually pleasurable as far as on the, on the surface level, as far as we know, dopamine has other, has other functions as well, but that's the main one, you know, like a, it's a pleasure receptor. So you like chocolate, 
or pizza, I don't know, you're masturbating, you're, you're releasing dopamine, okay? Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's definitely a broad field to explore, but so when it comes to homosexuality, you basically, homosexuality is defined as you, you having the capacity of having a dopamine response to the same gender, okay? Whether it's a male or male or female, female. You have the capacity of having a sexual and romantic and or romantic relationship with the same gender of your own. Heterosexual, it is classified as the capacity of having a dopamine response to the opposite gender. Male, whether you're a male having a response to a female or a female having a response to a male. Bisexuality is the capacity of having a dopamine response to both genders. I'm not gonna say more than one gender because I believe that there are, well, it's science. I believe that there are two genders. Now I'll get on, I'll get on the whole non-binary thing. I'll get on that later. But again, you have the capacity of having a dopamine response to more than one gen. Oops, sorry. You have the dopamine. You have the capacity of having a dopamine response to male and female, um, sexual and or romantic. So that's what that's where that's what a lot of people do not understand when it comes to bisexuality. It doesn't have to, it's not, it doesn't mean that you're having a romantic relationship with a male and a female at the same time in the bedroom because that's, that's, one of the, that's one of the main stigmas of bisexuality. And a lot of that is, a lot of that, a lot of that stigma is pushed in adult film where it's two guys, it's usually two guys running a train on a female. Or a guy that's in between a man and a woman, but it's, it's always in the form of a threesome, you know. But yeah, that's that's usually that's usually the main crux of contrived ignorance when it comes to bisexuality. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Okay, so ironically, in this month of September for us, which is Bisexual Awareness Month, there was something that happened on September 15th of this year on the Tamron Hall Show. Uh, there was pretty much a, an ex-mayor of Tallahassee, Florida. His name was Andrew Gillum. Well, to let you know a little bit about that, about six months ago, there was a Miami police call. They were calling in response to an OD call uh, at a hotel. And when they've arrived, um, they found Andrew Gillum naked and disoriented. They've also confiscated three bags of uh, crystal meth. That's what it was. Yeah. And, you know, there were some other things too, you know, towels uh, filled with feces, things of that nature. I, I don't know what was going on there. I don't you know, scat play. I, I, I have no idea. But a little bit to TMI at this point. Whatever they were doing when there's sexual pro proclivity, uh, we, that's not really something we need to worry about. But he is a political figure. And when we're dealing with stuff things uh, when we're dealing with activities involving illegal substance that the average citizen would actually do time for even if they were even if they were in the room you you know if, if you were in the room or you know the same room the same house where the drugs were you you, you weren't what you a person is not going to usually walk out of there they're probably going to go down to the station, go to jail, or or whatever. You know, some investi they're going to be a part of some kind of investigation. Okay, this guy walked out, so there was a lot of controversy. There was a lot of controversy. There was a lot of 
there was there was definitely a lot of concerns like hey how does he get to walk out and an average person like us would not so you know this man this man went to rehab and now come september 14th he's sitting down on tamron holland's show and he pretty much said this and to be very honest with you when you didn't ask the question um you put it out there is whether or not i identify as gay and the answer is i don't identify as gay but i do identify as bisexual and that is something that i have never shared publicly before all right so now that you've seen that this is what sparked a lot of people that had an issue have issues with non-heterosexuality well the subject conveniently in bisexual awareness month they they have they, these people voice their people are coming out voicing their opinions that they believe are facts about bisexuality and I wanted to talk about there's something I wanted to talk about which is what Andrew Gillum said in that that interview uh, that interview uh, clip because for, for some reason the full interview with um, Tamron Holland and um, Andrew Gillum that's still not found but I think this is the most important highlight to me as a male bisexual to capture and, and, and I have it which I'm, I'm happy because there's something I want to talk about and that is what the words he said he said I do not identify as gay I identify as bisexual well so that's a problem the reason why that is a problem is when you say identify it's it doesn't really hold any weight and that gives room for people to criticize you. That gives room for people to poke holes in your statement because, I mean, let's, let's face the reality of what's going on right now. Everybody's identifying tens and thousands of things they want to identify as every day, which makes no sense, you know? So, I would say that, here's what I would say. I don't identify as gay. I do not identify as bisexual. I am bisexual. That is what I would say. Because that holds more weight. That holds more weight. You'll be taking, we'll be you'll be taken a lot more seriously. And that's what I, that's my message to anybody who's bisexual, who's, who's openly bisexual and those, those who are uh, in the closet, the silent majority who are bisexual. Do not say I identify as bisexual. Just tell them you're bisexual. I am bisexual versus I identify as bisexual that's more permanent than saying that I am because when you when you are well, it gives you confidence for one when you say that I identify well it's very subjective it's very subjective meaning that okay you identify as bisexual what are you going to be next and the reason why the reason why I'm, I'm I'm being very big on this right now, as as I identify versus I am, is because we're we're facing a we're we're facing something called by erasure. It's real. It, it happens every day. You know, you've heard statements like the one I just showed you from um, a content creator called Jericho Green. Um, you know, I have one that I want to show you, which is from Tommy Sotomayor. Stop saying that this man is bisexual. There is no such thing. If you take dick, you're gay. 
No, there's no in between. The only thing in between is dick between your butt cheeks. That's it. Now I know it's a lot of men who watch my show faithfully and they are gay and bi. But you bi men, I'm telling y'all that does not exist. You are not bi, you are gay. That's right, you are gay. They, it's a, it's a contradictory statement because Jericho Green in the past said that, made a comment that we still haven't figured everything out with sexuality. So for him to say that, for him to say that uh, there is no bisexuality and for Tommy to say that same thing in his way, uh, that there is no bisexuality. He's also said that he believes that not everybody is heterosexual. My point was, my point was before showing you that that clip, that clip from Tommy Sotomayor was, is that your sexual orientation, it is permanent. Um, somebody who is, because somebody who is, as someone would say, full on gay, meaning he's a, he's actually a homosexual, they're not going to have children. Um, in the black community, we call those individuals beards, the ones who are closeted, who, the ones who are gay and have, the ones who are gay and are married. But the problem is we get thrown together with gays because we have, we have same sex, we have same sex with the, we have same sexual intercourse with the same uh, gender so because of the limited information available to most people and majority of the gays from the LGBT are very vocal in the public eye right now which they a lot of them don't really give a shit about us at all I mean, they've been doing this practice for towards us for more than 54 years. Um, but that's another subject I'm going to get on later at a later time. Look at Bruce Jinder. This guy got a whole football team of kids and has breast implants at 70 something years old. So don't tell me about somebody having kids being that they're not gay. There's plenty of totally gay men that got kids with women that produce them themselves. You see what I'm saying? The, uh, the body can work in a particular way. You can produce kids. That don't mean that you are actually uh, heterosexual, but I digress. As the clip I just showed you with ABL, he said that a full on gay has children because, you know, there's things that go on in your body. Well, no, um, I got, it's contradictory. Well, it's not contradictory. He probably doesn't, he probably doesn't know because he doesn't, he doesn't really deal with that subject. Uh, like I do the reason why a full-on gay man is not going to have any children is because a gay man a full-on gay man a gay man who is actually gay or in the psychology term homosexual he does not and he will never have a dopamine response which would give him that capacity of having a romantic and or sexual relationship with the opposite gender, okay? So if you speak, if you were to speak with an actual gay person, they will tell you that they never liked the woman, never, ever. They never liked the woman, period. Or they, they don't like, they don't, they, they look at the sight of a female genitalia, the vagina, the pussy, whatever you want to call it. They, they're, they're, it just, it's not something that appeals to them. It's not something that arouses them. Meaning again, they do not have a dopamine response. There's plenty of experiments that shows and proves what determines a sexual orientation. I don't know why, I don't know why the LGBT is adding all of these alphabets because LGBT was originally LGB. Those three letters were sexual orientation, but that's another thing that's a part of bi erasure, which they're adding all of these letters and all of these letters in these 1000 
plus genders they're coming up with every day, that is a means, that's a method that they're working on to erase you. Bisexuals. Let's erase you, let's erase me. How dare you say that there are two genders? There's a manifesto. I'll read that on the, at another time because bisexuality is, in my opinion, bisexuality is the balance. It's the balance between heterosexuality and non-heterosexuality, okay? And there were, there were reasons why at first the LGBT did said that they would never put a bisexual on their board of directors. Um, and that's because that's because of the things that you're seeing right now. If the bis if there were, if the bisexuals were were let on the board of directors around that time when that was said, the stuff you're seeing now would have started a long time ago. As far as the things that the LGBT uh, LGBT plus people are doing as far as harassing, accosting people, ruining people's lives because you said something that they don't agree with, that they don't like. And these you can say anything because whatever it is that they don't like, they can just arbitrarily ch change it. So they have their freedom of speech, but you don't have yours. But this is why the First Amendment is very important. You know, people will say things that I don't agree with. I'm, I'm bisexual, yes. But the people on the right, your conservatives, they don't have a, they really don't, they really don't hate you like that. They have a disagreement. They may not agree with your sexual orientation, but then at the same time, one thing they're not going to tell you is that there is a whole lot of us closeted bisexuals on the right and in conservative areas and in rural areas. You even see them in, you, if you actually read a, a lot of gay romantic novels, the uh, reason why I have my, my, my air quotes here is that a lot of these stories a lot of these stories, a lot of your, a lot of the main characters in these these gay romance novels, they're bisexual men, uh, and I'm speaking from a male bisex bisexual perspective. So, so yeah, um, a lot of them, a lot of them are closeted bisexuals. Um, there's a dating app I have, uh, multiple dating apps, but there's a dating app I have, and especially where I live. Um, I see the faces of a lot of these closeted bisexual men, and you wouldn't you wouldn't have known that these people are bisexual, and that's another thing too. And this is this is this is one of my major criticisms of the LGBT, and that is that this whole attack on patriarchy, attack the patriarch, kill the patriarchy, cisgender, cisgender Christian white men. Uh, these dating apps I've seen, these guys, uh, I mean, they got the scruffy beards and stuff and like these dude, these dudes look like your mountain men, militia type of guys. I mean, they, these, these look like your average heterosexual men. I mean, you, you, you accuse us of having what is called straight privilege. I don't, I don't know what that is. It, it's a stupid term that was made up, but yeah, yeah. You accuse us of having um, straight privilege. Just, just sounds like jealousy to me. Jealousy that we have the best of both worlds. Don't ever listen, bisexuals, male bisexuals, female bisexuals, but I'm mainly talking to the male bisexuals. Don't you ever, ever be ashamed in saying that you don't get the best of both worlds. You do get the best of both worlds. The reason why we're having we're, the reason why we're catching the crap that we're catching right now is the double standards from the other gender, which is the female. That's it. No, we got the best of both worlds. 
And that's why I'm here, because I'm here to address these issues dealing with us as male bisexuals. Most of us are not porn stars. I mean, I've seen, I don't know, there might have been a bisexual YouTuber out there that's bisexual, but he's in the adult film industry. You know, I'm not knocking what he does, but we're mostly relegated as male bisexuals. We're mostly rele relegated to the bedroom. And I, I haven't, I take issue with that because we do a lot of things in society as well besides the porn industry. In the IT, we're in the technical field. We do construction. Oh, there's a lot of us in construction. <laughs> um, there's a lot of us in the military and in law enforcement. Us, I'm talking about male bisexuals. Uh, another thing for bisexual, for Bisexual Awareness Month, another thing that we have to be aware, and this is for male bisexuality, homicide. Homicide, murder, whatever you wanna call it, homicide and murder. So when you transgender females are going around saying that we're out in the streets dying, you're getting murdered. The main ones who are murdering you are my closeted male bisexual counterparts. They're murdering you. Most of them will murder you if they get the, if they even get the suspicion, the slightest suspicion that they're gonna get outed, they're gonna murder you. And a lot of those things are gonna to continue to happen as long as male bisexuality goes um, unaccepted. So there's a lot of work, there's a lot of work for us that has to, that has to be done for male bisexuals. So I am speaking generally on bisexuality, but I will be here for you guys to speak and talk about the issues as a male bisexual, because these are the things that needs to be addressed okay so in closing i also want to give acknowledge to the other things that i can think of that's also the month of september besides bisexual awareness month so yes we have bisexual awareness month we also have mental health awareness month we're, we're the most affected when it comes to mental health this is also sickle cell awareness month so my fiance, she has sickle cell anemia as well. So I'm giving that a, 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 an acknowledgement as well. Oh, also, I'm sorry I missed September 15th. That was Red Panda Awareness Day or Red Panda Day. Yeah, there we go. Yes. I'm sorry, Red Panda. I'll get you next year. But seriously, on a serious note, on my first episode, I want to say this. And I want to make this declaration. I don't identify as gay. I don't identify as bisexual. I am bisexual. And that's all I have to say. I'm that male bisexual. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Have a great day.